What's up guys, so about two years ago, I built a Plex media server that I also use as a computer to do some of my backups. Now, Synology sent over their DS416 Play, which I've been very excited about. And as a matter of fact, this is going to be replacing my old computer. So why should you pick one of these up or even care about one? So NAS storages like this one are very beneficial. Now, if you're not familiar with what a NAS uh, server is, I'm gonna leave a link down below to Linus Tech Tips, which did a fantastic video explaining exactly what it is. There's no point in me trying to do that here and spending six minutes on it when he's already done a great video. So make sure to check his video out first, and then if you wanna come back, uh, you have a little bit better understanding on what this is. So this is actually a four drive base. So there's actually four four terabyte hard drives in each slot. So the installation process is actually really simple. You can start with one hard drive and let's just say as your budget permits, you can scale that to two, three, and eventually use all four of them like I am using right now. So once you have the hard drives installed, all you need to do is find the server on your network, which is really simple because you use a web browser with a specific URL and it takes a matter of seconds, set up an account and you're ready to go. So the system itself is pretty small and I like the fact that it's portable. You can pretty much hide it in different places. And to kind of give you a perspective on that, this is an iPhone 6S Plus. So it's basically as tall as an iPhone 6S Plus and almost the same like width of it, just a tad bit bigger. Basically it's just housing the Ford hard drives. There's a processor inside and the two fans in the back. Um, another thing that I like about this is that it does have two LAN ports in the back Basically, it uses link aggregation uh, for failover support. So you can actually connect uh, two landlines, and if one of them actually fails, it'll continue running, or use both of those to get more throughput, which is pretty much gonna give you really fast access to these drives. So another thing that it has is three USB 3.0 ports, one in the front and two in the back. So Synology has their own sort of like operating system that is web-based. So as long as you have access to a computer and of course the internet, uh, you're able to access all of your files and they also have applications uh, that you can download on your Android and also the, your iPhone. Now what's neat about this is that you can download what's called like packages. They have like a package center. Let's just pretend that it's sort of like apps. You can download different apps that work with a Synology server. So if you wanna build a website, there's actually tools in here or apps or what they like to call packages that you can um, download. So for example, they even have them categorized like right here, multimedia. You can see here that there is a Plex Media Server which we're going to install. So installing a Plex Media Server is actually very simple. All you need to do is go into the package center and install the Plex Server. Assuming that you already have an account, all you do is hit install and then open and it'll actually take you to the Plex a website. Once you're on the Plex website, it's just gonna ask you where your media is located, where your movies are located. Um, and then once you locate them, it'll start to scan and you can start watching movies right away. So another benefit of having a NAS server like this one is that you can also back up all of your computer, your phone stuff, basically all of your digital content onto this. They have a package that is called Cloud Station Server, which basically you install on your computer or all of the computers in your home, and it'll automatically back up the different file folders that you have. Let's say, for example, if you're using Windows, you can say, I wanna back up my whole entire C drive, or if you have only uh, particular folders that you wanna back up, you can do that, and it'll happen every time you turn your computer on, those backups will happen. Now, of course, like I was telling you earlier, the benefit of that is if one of the drives you know, for example, fails, you have that peace of mind that your data is not corrupted. So another benefit that this has is that you can use cloud services like Google Drive, Dropbox, and a few others to have an offsite backup. In case this particular device gets damaged, you can have that peace of mind. And again, it's all part of like the package center and all you need to do is install it, of course, link it to your account, and it just works flawlessly. So what are the real big benefits of this? Well, for one, you can access this with multiple devices. So I could be watching a Plex movie on my computer while somebody else is watching another Plex movie upstairs with a Chromecast, while somebody else like my wife is accessing pictures all at the same time. Another thing is that sort of fail safe that the RAID configuration has. You know, if I pull this hard drive out right now, I know that none of my storage is lost. And of course, like I was saying earlier, it will begin to beep, letting me know that something is wrong. And as a matter of fact, my health over here, it takes a second, there it goes, it's kind of freaking out. 
so you can hear it right now. It's letting me know that something is going on, but I know for a fact that my data is not lost. So right now I set this up to one hard drive failure. Now, if I were to lose another hard drive, then I'm in trouble. But of course you can set different types of RAID configurations uh, depending on how you want to set yours up. So what happens when a hard drive fails? Well, aside from that annoying sound, you will actually know which one because right now this LED light is turned off. It's letting me know that disk three is gone. You can also log into the portal and check the status of each individual hard drive. First thing you wanna do is of course, you know, get a replacement as soon as possible. So having a backup close to you or you know, already have it in your home is probably ideal. Now, of course, once you uh, replace a hard drive, just put it back in and it's really simple. You need to repair the RAID array. And doing that, all you need to do is go into the main menu, main menu, go into storage manager, and then we need to go into volume. Then you wanna do is click on manage and then there will be a thing that says repair and then just click on next. And it's telling me right here that it's disk number three. I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. It'll tell me that all data is going to be erased uh, in, on that drive and that's okay. I'm not worried about it. And then just hit apply and we're good to go. And that's basically it. In a matter of a few like seconds, a little beeping sound will go away. All of my data will once again be spread across all of those drive bays. So having a NAS server like this is very beneficial. Now you can have multiple of these. You can have one at home, you can have one upstairs, or you can even have one somewhere else that's not close to your home, like let's say your office or grandparents' house or mother's house, wherever, and just have that redundancy because losing your data is something that we do not want to do. Uh, or nobody ever wants to lose their data. I mean, if you've ever lost your data, you probably understand that that's really important. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do want to thank Synology for sending this out for me to review. And I also want to thank uh, Seagate for sending and you know providing all of these four hard drives. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.